guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and share me filling my jars of hair cream, labeling, and also um, fulfilling orders um, and getting ready to ship. So right here, I'm just getting some of my clean sanitized jars. I didn't film that process, but um, they are clean and sanitized. My hands are washed and I also am wearing gloves. But yeah, I am getting them ready to fill them with my new Goddess Curls Enchanting Moisture Cream, which you guys have been purchasing. So go to www.goddesscurls.com, get yours, y'all. So now I'm just taking this little, I don't know, it's just like a spatula um, that I have and filling my jar with the hair cream, okay? So I'm just making sure to shake it so that there aren't any gaps, any air bubbles. So you guys are getting eight full complete ounces of hair cream. And if you guys haven't seen my tutorial using it for the twist out I have in this video, I'll link it down below so you guys can see the product in action. But it's amazing for dry hair. Um, it adds shine, moisture, it's going to define, it has hold. So yeah, it's great. It has amazing ingredients like aloe vera juice, castor oil, shea butter, um, sunflower oil, and it smells nice and good and fruity. I love the smell um, that I picked out. So anyways, yeah, I'm just filling these bad boys to the top, trying my best not to make a mess. Um, so I'm just going to continue that entire process. And I did want to let you guys know, I do want to do a business Q&A. Um, I get a lot of questions asking how I started, you know, a hair care line, how I, um, you know, went about getting an LLC, how I use Shopify, my website, my business cards, my logo, like literally everything. So comment any questions you have down below. So now I am just taking the lids and placing them on top of the jars. Now this was my second batch that I did. I filmed the, or I didn't film the first batch just because I wasn't really thinking to. But this is the second batch so you will see me add in some more hair creams um, and work on those as well. After I put on all the jars, I'm going to label everything um, with my labels. So I created my own labels on Canva and it's really simple and easy to do y'all um yeah so you guys will see me putting those on at first i kind of had to stand up because you want to make sure you put your labels on straight you guys it is so easy to have them slightly slanted or crooked and that's not cute especially when you're trying to come off nice professional all that type of stuff so um from there i did just kind of sit down and found that i could do it from eye level so i'm gonna stop talking now um so you guys can just watch the process Right now, I'm just using my printer to print off all of the labels. And you guys can see that I had a lot of orders coming in. I didn't even show you guys 
all of the labels I got um but yeah I was very happy again I'm always super thankful for you guys' support and I'm just hoping you guys really enjoy the new hair cream but anyways yeah after this I am just going to start ripping off the labels setting them on my table looking at my Shopify account um for each specific label so I can know exactly what I'm packing and you guys will see me packing the order so some people just got a divine hair elixir some people got um, a hair cream some people got both some people got hair accessories with their order so yeah you're gonna see me do that and um, pack <music> Now for my shipping and labeling process, I do like to um, make sure that I put fragile stickers either on the front, back, or both just because some of the orders do contain glass and even if it's just the um, hair cream, I still don't want it to get squished or anything like that, okay? Because USPS, they be acting crazy when it comes to these packages. But anyways, um, yeah, so I like to do that. I also like to wrap my Divine Hair Elixirs in bubble wrap so that, you know, they don't crack. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to put the shipping label on, place everything that needs to be in there, seal it on up. Oh, don't forget, I do like to put my business card in there too, which I also made on Canva on my own real quick, literally in just, I don't even know how long, but... So yeah, that is the process. I'm gonna let you guys watch that. Just a couple, just because I did have a lot of orders for this um, first day. And I don't want you guys to sit through all that. But yeah, packing orders, labeling, filling jars, filling you know bottles, all that stuff is time consuming, you guys. Like literally, it can take me hours and hours and hours just to fill up a good amount so that i don't have to consistently keep doing it every single day so when you are supporting people's businesses just know like they really put their time and effort into it <music> so I actually didn't even finish all of the orders from this first day I had so much stuff other than goddess curls to do y'all know I got a household to run I got kids I got to pick people up from school I got just 
a lot of stuff to do um but i did fulfill a uh, majority of them so you see me just putting them into this garbage bag i believe i had two garbage bags full of the um packages or whatever and then i had another bag full of boxes so i'm gonna i'm just gonna see how the shipping and things go because i do think i might want to um transition from the little bubble um packages to actual boxes for all of my orders so i'm gonna see how that goes um first before i make the switch but yeah y'all i'm super excited i'm super like i feel like such a businesswoman like you guys have just seen my brand transform um from just instagram youtube working with other brands now having my own brand it's such a fulfilling feeling to just get even one order so again i just want to thank you guys also thank you guys for watching this um the little behind the scenes like i said leave a comment down below so that you can have your answer or your question answered in an up and coming business q a um please y'all steer away from the like how did you get started like be very specific like if you want to know a specific thing let me know um but that's the end of this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe i'm gonna go drop these off um but that's the end of this video i'll see you in another one